Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, welcome to November as we start to get further and further into the year end. It's just amazing how quickly time is going by. We are six weeks into the new year. If you started it at around October 1st, as I did, leaving us with approximately another six weeks left. So we are squarely right in the middle right now. I hope by now that you have written your letter and if you're also going to be following up with phone calls, hopefully you've got your plan already established to, in, to make phone calls and who you're going to call and who is gonna make, make phone calls for you, whether that's gonna be your executive director, development director, or board of directors, or just other volunteers that are gonna be with you. So I hope you are preparing for the new year, and I am excited by the opportunities we have over the next six weeks. If you haven't already been watching this video series, I've placed all the year-end videos in a playlist that I'll show you up above, and make sure that you watch each and every video on that playlist because you'll get a lot of valuable information. Well, let's dive into our question for the week. Our question for the week is from Greg in Laverne, California. And Greg writes, I use the term moves management when talking in higher level development circles. Is that term still used? Well, Greg, thanks so much for your question. I always appreciate questions as I do all the questions we get. Moves management is definitely a term that is still used quite often in development circles. If you have been in development for a while, you've probably heard the term moves management, but there's also probably a number of you that have never heard the term moves management. It really goes back to the fact that we are involved in friend raising more than we are in fundraising. And they're definitely in, in development. There's definitely a process that you will move people along. There's actually a continuum that you will take. We refer to that as win, keep, and lift. You move people from the win category and winning is introducing someone to your cause. You use measures and steps to introduce someone to your cause. Then you move them to the keep phase. That's keeping people giving to your organization so that you're not losing people out the back door. But then you move people into the lift category. That's lifting people to higher levels of giving. And you wanna make sure that you have a good strategy for winning people, keeping people, and lifting people. Moves management is moving someone along a continuum that introduces them more and more to the organization. It also gives them greater opportunity for involvement. Oftentimes, we call that immersion. We are immersing people just like you would take a sponge and immerse it in water so that the sponge will collect the water that you immerse it in. We want to do the exact same thing with our partners. We want to immerse them in our organization so that they will collect the mission, vision, and values of our organization and want to be more involved in our organization and ultimately want to give more. And that's where the lifting comes. Lifting involves giving people opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to be more involved and to actually increase their giving, their labor, their influence, and their expertise. I've used the life acrostic before, labor, influence, finances, and expertise. This gives people an opportunity to get involved in a greater way with your organization. So moves management is taking people along that continuum. That term is used in higher level development circles. People who have been involved for a long time understand the term moves management. We also have put together what we refer to as the development model. Uh, 
At times it's been called the maximum donor utilization model, but I've always known it as the development model. And it is taking people along a pathway, a continuum, so that people are not just traveling in circles. If I gave you a destination, I said I wanted you to go from Orlando, Florida to Laverne, California, and didn't tell you how to get there, you would probably struggle and might find yourself in Boston, Chicago, or Seattle. But I am going to give you a map, a pathway. That's what moves management is. It's not just haphazardly taking people all over the place regarding fundraising and development. It's taking them down a path, taking them along a journey. And I like to grab hold of their hand and walk them, guide them through that journey so that they really, really enjoy their experience. Going on a journey with someone is always better than going on a journey alone. And we want to take our partners along that journey with them. Too often, we see our partners as a means to an end. We're doing our efforts. Your part is to give us money. A real development effort includes partnership, and that is traveling down a journey and a pathway together. And I hope that you are taking your people through Moves Management and along that journey in development. Thank you so much for your question, Greg. I appreciate it. If you like what you hear today, we would love to have you as a subscriber. We'll, we're building a community of life changers, individuals who are making a difference in people's lives and in the world and ultimately in eternity. And we just are so thankful for your partnership. If you want to, if you like what you heard, please subscribe to this channel. If you aren't already subscribed, you can submit questions that you might have on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. And also, if you want to go out and get some fundraising tips, you can do so on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies or join our Life Builders and join or, or join our Life Changers community on Facebook. We're putting valuable information out there and I hope you enjoy it. So as I always say, we are here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your process to the new year.